Hi, it's Bob. And part of me is thinking, I want to start this by saying, I want to tell you a story. But that's not true. What I want to do is tell you a story about how I learned about the story and how I ended up reading the story and telling you the story of the story. <sighs> that's a whole lot of story. But then we are talking about lab. So let me give you some idea. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back uh, to August 2022. And uh, that was a curious pastime event. So it was the renewal event at the end of August. And uh, I started talking to the author of this book. Uh, it was one of those conversations that it feels you only really get at lab. And we ended up talking about things like writing, uh, filmmaking, uh, how things like, how do I shoot? Uh, how do the film industry do stuff? Uh, historical weapons and how they're sourced, and historical items and how they're sourced uh, for film. And uh, lots of other stuff, which for me personally are really cool. And also teams uh, for the author. And then I learned that he was close to getting a book published. And by that, I don't mean self-published or I don't mean published um, on some kind of uh, va vanity impressing. It was by a, a, a decent, well-respected uh, publishing house. And um, the book in question was this one. It's a uh, Guardian, so I'm just going to hold that up there. So it's Guardians by Peter Lucy. You'll be seeing more of that cover. I'm not going to leave my face on screen for too long. And let's spool on a bit now into 2023 and uh, let's go into the end of April, uh, beginning of May. And uh, we met up again. Only now the book had been released, which is, and I got given uh, this copy. So, so I said about reading it. So, sorry, Peter, it's been a long time getting this review out. But now we're going for it. So I think the first thing you want to know is what is it? OK, it's a novel and a detailing one weekend at Empire Lab. For those of you who might not have heard of it, Empire is the UK's largest fast lab. Uh, um, this, it seems to ever increase in its sort of skies and its scope and its scale. They've got a huge number of fans. Now, this book doesn't detail the events at any one particular event. If you're looking for something that's going to tell you what happened at a specific event, that's not what this is. This is a novel, so it just takes the concept of going to Empire in summer. Okay, It doesn't even say which part of summer, just in summer. Now, in the story of something that a lot may not be entirely interesting for some people, but what Peter does is really clever. He takes the, the story of the person going to their first lap, and then it interweaves that with a fantasy story based upon the events at the lap, that really, which really delve into sort of the rich background that Empire has. And what you end up with is this novel, which talks about the physical and emotional impact going to a, a lot for the first time has on somebody about what it's like to feel to see a feel immersion in a story and to feel the realness of portraying a character as action and events start spiraling around you what that feels like whilst at the same time hitting a really cool fantasy story uh, it's all about sort of the psychological impact uh, a lab has on somebody uh, but it's not in a negative way it's looking at things like how enriching it is how relaxing it can be how all enthralling it can be and also the person who's at the lab over the space of a few days the experience of being in the lab um they, they grow they grow quite that they you can see and feel them grow 
Now, meshed into this is the fantasy story, some of the characters the person plays, and some of it is a, you can you can sort of see that where actual scenes in Empire, are uh, how the person's envisaging those in their head. So, you know, when when you go into the initial skirmish, that shifts into okay, a description of somebody going into a lamp skirmish, whoop, and shifting into a full on fantasy novel. And much of the book is this fantasy novel set in the universe of Empire, exploring its folklore, uh, its traditions, exploring the exploring the city of Anvil, exploring the the various groups that come together. And if anybody has ever played at Empire, I think they're going to recognise a lot of these elements. You've got building on this rich fantasy story building up and it drops out of that into reality to see you know how did the person feel are they are they exhilarated or bored or tired how are they interacting with the players if the players they've come with I think we're back into this really great story and there's a lot going on it's an act there's a lot of action but the character is drawn ever deeper into a sort of spiral of politics i'm not going to do any spoilers this is going to be a spoiler-free review, uh, so and I don't want to wreck the book, but I quite enjoyed the story. It's a nice fantasy story. It's a good one, and again, its portrayal of lap is extremely realistic in that it doesn't try to say this happened. It's more about oh, I feel like this, or oh, I've I've woken up and I need, or. I just, or just, oh gosh, oh good, something just happened, I just need to lie down, but never in a bad way, always in the, whether anybody's been at LARP will understand that this is just part of the, the experience. So, I've got to say that I really enjoyed this book, which is good, because I've heard there are more on the way. So, uh, Peter, <laughs> if you've got more on the way, yeah, yeah, you've got at least one reader. But... Who is it for? Who, who, who should read this? Well, if you're a LARPer, there's so much of the common LARP experience in you, you will knowingly nod to and think, yeah, I've been there, I've done that, I've seen somebody do that. This is all part of the game, and this is all part of what the experience is like. Now, if you're not a LARPer, what's that going to mean? I think it's going to be a good thing. I think this kind of lifts the lid, the lid off in a a really good way about what this hobby is like. You're going to learn about the, that there's a huge community and a very positive and a community which will nurture and look after you. Uh, a wonderful scene towards the end of the book where you can see this person who's just been at their first lap, who's put their first event together really well, suddenly gets the, really gets the community aspect. Uh, and I, I love that. But if you're not a LARPer, you, you'll start to think, well, this is different. This is a, a really great community. And at the same time, you've also got this really decent fantasy novel. So this might be a novel for the LARP curious, as it were, or the, I want to read a, a novel, a bit of a twist, but I don't want it to be sort of the deeply ironic twist of uh, dubious science fiction. It's not. This is a, a very human application of things. But either way, I think this is a novel that is worth reading. I thoroughly enjoyed myself looking at it. Now, one more thing I need to say about this book, and, and it really matters. This book only became possible because of the collaborative and communal nature of love. So it's the nature of love that made the book possible. Let me try to explain what I mean. Uh, profound, profound Decisions is the company that creates and runs Empire, it's their intellectual property. And Matt Pennington, who uh, who heads all this up, gave permission for this book, allowed, is allowing this book to have to use his intellectual property to use profound decisions intellectual property in its own way. And I think it really complements the game. I think if you were wondering what, what Empire's all about and you read this, you'd think, okay, so I I suddenly got an idea of 
how things fit together. So some people then when they look at a website or wikis or wikis full of huge amounts of really good detailed background, which is the kind of thing you get in Empire, might have trouble envisaging as a story, but this brings everything to life. And you sort of go, oh, well, yeah, I could really enjoy playing this kind of character. But if Peter hadn't written the book, and Matt hadn't allowed the book to use Empire's uh, or Power Decisions intellectual property, that this could never have happened. It could never happen without an author going, I've got a really good idea, and I want to, I need to write about this. And also the people who own the rights to the whole co to the, the concept he's building on, saying, we want you to build on this, we allow you to build on this. If you think about the really big corporations of the world, you think about things like Apple and Paramount and Disney, they never, never really, I can't imagine them allowing something like this to happen. Uh, but in lap it does. We do all work off each other, feed off each other, and grow off each other. I think this the sheer existence of this novel says an awful lot about the spirit of the lap community. So I want to say you know, both to Matt and everyone at Profound Decisions, and to Peter and all the work he's done, but to all of you, I, I salute you for enabling this. This is one. This is. Uh, one of the best examples of the lab community. Okay, so that's about it for me now. I just like to say, you know, yes, I recommend this book. Please consider reading it. Uh, you'll find in the notes links and uh, details of how to get to it. So you have no excuse for not getting it if you don't want to. And yes, I would recommend it. And I'm hoping more come out. I know that more are, are written. Uh, so fingers crossed we get more of this. And for everyone watching this video, thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. You. <clears throat> Lost my voice then. Do I reshoot? Do I do a nice little cut? Or do I allow people to know that I lost my voice? I lost my voice then. Okay. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you had a good time. And hope to see you all in the field soon. Bye-bye.